Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you guys have popped back in and seen another video of mine. I have got a very good one for you today. Um, this is going to be very interesting for anyone that likes to use NAS software. Essentially what we're going to do today is we're going to load up TrueNAS and we're going to reverse proxy our TrueNAS apps um, using Cloudflare tunnels and Traffica. So this is actually really cool. So I've been having issues getting my next cloud work on any of my systems with reverse proxy. It's been a, a complete bugger of, a, of the time trying to get it working. So what I ended up doing was taking an old workstation I had, popping a couple hard drives, and loading up a next cloud instance. So it's really simple to use TrueNAS scale. I would recommend using TrueNAS core. I fiddled around with that for a little bit, and TrueNAS core actually had a lot of issues, a lot of issues running anything other than the space like iSCSI or um, SMB setups. So I switched over to TrueNAS scale and all those issues I was having before had basically vanished. So I'd recommend if you're installing anything to use TrueNAS scale. iSCSI is still in there. Um, it's really nice. The one thing you can do with that, which I come up with another video, is that you can run like uh, an iSCSI drive. So it's a drive directly in your Windows. So if you go to, if I go to my PC, um, you'll see it's like, it's an actual drive. It shows the actual drives in my Windows. If I go to my hard drives, uh, storage manager, sorry. Disk manager, sorry. You'll see it actually shows up as like an as a, as if the drive was actually in my system, even though it's not. This is not my TrueNAS system, but this is showing up in my Windows system. So there's some cool things you can do with this, but um, let's get started with the tutorial. So first off, you're going to want to go to apps once you log into TrueNAS. Um, and if you haven't already added the True Charts uh, apps, we're going to go in here and go into um, settings, man, settings. No, oh, I'm sorry, manage catalogs. And you're going to click on add a catalog, click continue, and you're going to want to give it a name. So if you go, I'll link this in the tutorial uh, in section or my GitHub wiki. You just copy the catalog name, add in there, copy the GitHub, which is this one for the repository. Paste it in there, and then you just click on, um, you can do stable or main or, you know, just leave all these default, basically, it should be fine. Once you've done that, you can click save, and it should add the charts, and then when you go to apps again, available apps, you'll see all these apps now in here. So I'm going to do a fresh instance of NextCloud because um, it will be easiest for me, but we need to install NextCloud first, so we'll click on, oh, sorry. You want to make sure you're also not installing the official. You have to use the True Charts available one, which should be at the bottom somewhere down here. Let's see if we can find it. Um, you can also search the top if you choose. Uh, in alphabetical order, though, I'll just search it because it's easier. I want to look for it. So here's the True Charts one. You want to make sure you're enabling that. Click on Install. And it's going to ask for all those details. You can just leave everything the same. Uh, it'll get your time zone. Uh, change your admin user, so um, I'll name mine like, I don't know, Demon Warrior Tech, and give it a password, so we'll just give it a password that's strong, All right? You can leave everything else the same, unless you want to add any of these for like, I don't, I don't know, like HEIC, or PDFs, or I don't, I don't know. It really is up to you. You can select these as needed. You can always change these too in the, in the future. So this is not like set in stone. This is what's gonna happen to you. You have to pull it down and redo it all over again. You can change these live time and then restart the container up. So you should be fine. Um, so once we've done that, um, we can go all the way down and go down to save. Okay, minor exist. So I'm gonna have to make a different name for it, I think. So let me check that. One sec. We'll name it next cloud two. Or next cloud tutorial. That now it should go. Alright, now I'll click save. Alright, once it's saved, we should see it create the container. that to create. Okay, now once that's done, we have our new container called NextCloud Tutorial. Here we're going to need two more things. We're going to need our um, Cloudflare. So I'll show you. That's also in the available applications. So Cloudflare. 
And you're going to want the one, again, just Cloudflare, not Cloudflare DDNS. And we'll click Install. And we'll set this up. Uh, you'll need your tunnel token, so I'll show you how to get that really quick. Um, to get that, make sure I'm doing this right. We get our Cloudflare token. All we have to do, uh, like I said, we're going to go to, uh, to this, we got to make it tunnel first. So let's go into cloudflare.com. And I'll block out all the, like I said, pertinent information I normally do. Once we're in here, we're going to go into um, our zero trust right here on the bottom right hand, left hand side, sorry. That's going to take us to our tunnels. We're going to go into access, and you can follow my other videos on how to create a tunnel. Pretty simple. Um, you're going to click on create a tunnel and name it True Nano's Scale. You can name it anything you want, doesn't necessarily matter. Next, we're going to need a, a, a Cloudflare like uh, token. So, all you have to do from here is just pull up a notepad real quick. So, uh, it's right here. Just get a new notepad out. And we're going to open up uh, this and just delete the everything uh, until install. So you have this key right here. Copy it. And then we're going to go into here. And we're going to click on Manage Catalog. I'm sorry. We're going to go into Cloud. This time we're going to, sorry. Go into Available Applications. Go on Cloudflare. Install. And now that we have our token, we go into the token and paste it in there. That else has to be done in here as far as I know. And click save. I forgot I have that name in here. I'm just going to change the name real quick to uh, Flare Tutorial. Save. And it's okay. Okie doke. Now that's done, we can install Trafica. So I'm going to install a Trafica. So we'll do, uh, again, available plugins and install a Trafica. Oh, and before you install Trafica, I almost forgot. So you need to do two things for if you haven't already in your web UI. So when you install Trafica, you need to make sure you change your local ports for your uh, tr your TrueNAS scale. So to do this, make sure I find the right documentation on this. Hold on one sec. Okay. So we need to change our TrueNAS GUI or web portal to 81 and 444 for the ports because if we don't, then what happens is when you try to load Trafica and you install it and set it up, it'll try to boot Trafica instead of uh, instead of Nextcloud on your 443 and 80 port. So to do this, all we need to do is go into System, Settings, General, and we click on... Um, GUI and click on the settings tab and you're going to change this which will, yours will be 80 to 81 and this will be 443 and we'll change it to 444 and click save and it should reboot and then to load your UI then you'll take your local IP and then colon 444 to log in next time so it won't just automatically load you type in your IP of your TrueNAS install and then colon 444 okay so once we've done that, now we can install Trafica so it does not conflict with the install. Okay, so traffic, we're going to install it. We're going to make this our, again, our secondary one. We're going to make it um, the same. Really, once you install that, it's all basically the same. You know, you just keep everything default, but I'll show you what it's like to install it. Okay, so once you've done that, you just go into apps, and uh, I'm going to show you how to install. Okay, so I uh, won't well, let me install a second traffic instance, so we're just going to go to edit, and I'll show you my traffic install. Basically, you're going to have three things you want to do. So you're going to change your um, entry port. So let's see, where is it? Actually, I think everything stays the same in here. You need to... Entry port needs to be 9,000. That's the only thing you need to add in here, I'm fairly certain. Yep. So the only thing you need to add is entry port and add it to 9,000, and that is it. And then you click Save. Once you save it, it'll build the container. 
And now we have Trafka, Cloudflare, and Nextcloud installed. So next, all we need to do is we need to um, set up our, uh, now Cloudflare is linked from that API key from this tunnel. So it should show it's online now. So to check this, we go into tunnels and see it's healthy, it's online. So now this TrueNAS is online and set up. Um, now, Okay, so once you have your Cloudflare and you're at your dashboard, we're, and we have our API key and we have all this set up, uh, we're gonna go into Cloudflare and we're gonna go into Zero Trust. And we're gonna add two different um, tunnels to our RMA tunnel. So once we have our RMA tunnel, we we'll go into our TrueNAS scale instance, go into public host name, and we're gonna add a public host name. We're gonna add um, two public host names actually. We're gonna add star and then our public host name, so devildesigns.net. HTTPS is going to be the type, and then we're gonna add um, this code in here for our Trafica instance to port it. So it's gonna be this domain. You can click on additional application settings, and you're gonna go down to TLS and type in your default root name, which is devildesigns.net, and click save. I already have one, so mine's already done. Um, so I'm just gonna delete this real quick. And then we're gonna take our, load. then we're gonna take our second name and we're gonna make it our root name. So I'm gonna uh, show you what it looks like. You're gonna add devilsdesigns.net with no subdomain, HTTPS again, the traffic link again, and we're gonna go to TLS and add our root name again. Okay, and click save. I've already done that, so I don't need to do that. Once you've done that, you go back into your Cloudflare dashboard, and we're gonna go into our domain, which is going to be devildesigns.net, and we're gonna add two subdomains. So we're gonna go into DNS, okay, right here, on the side, and we're gonna add a record. We're gonna add a C name, and we're gonna add a star, and we're going to add a target, which is going to be our proxy for our devildesigns.net that we set up in the tunnel. This is the Cloudflare tunnel, so that's why we're adding this to it. Once you click that, you can click save on that um, tunnel, this one right here. And then if we want to add any other things, we can add, we can add them in later, but we can add other C names. So now if we go back in our TrueNAS and we go into our um, next cloud tutorial, edit, we're gonna add um, our setup. So for ingress, we're gonna make it sure it shows our ingress right here ingress enable ingress we're going to make it files.devildesigns.net for our next cloud instant we're going to add a path and leave that default we're going to go and add a certificate host under tls setting. so tls setting certificate host we're going to click add we're going to add our domain so files.devildesigns.net and then we're going to add our um our TLS certificate. So this is gonna be cert devil's designs certificate. And then we can go to save. And now it's gonna save that and process that certificate. And then if we load it up, it should load up our next cloud once it's done. So we'll wait here until it's done. Okay, once it's done, we're gonna to have to go into our next cloud. We can just click open and it should open our domain now. And there we go. And there's our next cloud instance. So now you have successfully reverse proxied a true NAS install of a Dockerized web app in your next cloud. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please reach out. We have our Discord available 24 7 for help. You can check us out here on our Discord, it'll be in the description. Also, check out our GitHub Wiki, which has a lot of useful details and documents in there. If you guys want to see anything on there or need any help with Windows installations or TrueNAS, I'll have, probably have a written tutorial up there too, just in case you guys need any extra help or requests uh, with a couple of the links and ideas and screenshots of what we did in this. Thanks, guys. If you love my content, please keep watching. And thank you guys for supporting me. Have a great rest of your day.